Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. We're gonna do another taste test. This is what we got from Trader Joe's, Wegmans, and Aldi. Not too many things, but we got a few things for fall, kind of pumpkin flavored things. So we're gonna try that out. I'm here again with Katie, my niece Katie, my mom, my friend Rachel, and we're gonna give you our honest reviews. So what do we got first? Let's see, we have some ice cream. This isn't too fall themed, but this was like their new thing uh, at uh, Aldi. Aldi didn't have too much for like new. No, new, I couldn't find it at no. my Aldi's. We have the earth grown, we have the vanilla ice cream, and we have the chocolate. Unfortunately, this is just a prop. There's nothing in here. But this this is right. So we're gonna try the vanilla. I've heard this is delicious. Mm -hmm. Well, we're gonna find out. So we all have spoons. Like we did in the last. Ooh, it looks creamy. Made with almond milk. <laughs> non dairy frozen dessert. Over yours. 200 cal there's only 200 calories in this one. Oh wow. So that's even less. Yeah, that looks nice and creamy. Look how ready Katie is. That's yours. And then I'll pass it over to the monster. Mm, the monster, she takes a big one. This is, I heard this is good. <laughs> she did get a big scoop right there. Oh, that's delicious. She's not just taste testing this, she's... It's she's good. Mmm. <laughs> Do you like that, Katie? It's really, really creamy. Katie liked it. Where's our fight? We're gonna have to go on a little break right here, and we'll be back right after these messages. And we're back, and Katie's we have a little switch of chairs here. <laughs> She's taking over. Well, I all tried the ice cream. What did you think of the ice cream? I really liked it. She can keep it here in her house. Rachel, what did you think of the ice cream? I liked it. It was creamy. And Katie liked it. And Katie's ready for the next thing, which is we have pumpkin spice almond beverage. Ooh, this was from it? Trader Joe. Trader Joe's. A little bit for you. Oh, that's for me. <laughs> it tastes like pumpkin. It smells like pumpkin. This might taste good. Tastes hot. like pumpkin spice. Yeah, I think it would. I bet this would taste good hot. Mm. Ooh. You like it? It's yummy. Hey, what kind of smoothie did you have today? Tomato and banana. Tomato and banana. It was her concoction. And you liked it? Yeah, she liked it. <laughs> you guys want to try a tomato banana smoothie? Go for it. <laughs> you do. Okay. Do you want me to set it over here for now? Do you like it? It almost tomato. tastes like a pumpkin pie. I bet you could it do does. something with it that. It does. And then the next thing we have here are some new yogurt by Wegmans. They're brand new. They're Wegman brand. It's got the, the V on it for vegan right there. And we have blueberry, mango, and vanilla. They do have other flavors, but these are what I picked out. So Where did you find them? They're right in Wegmans. On the, and they have like a whole plant-based dairy. Oh, it's there? Yeah. It's there. It's yeah. not in the regular... Yeah, it's in, with, it's in with all the other yogurts, but at the end of that section it says plant-based. Oh, and okay. And it's got all their vegan yogurts. And they oh. have... This is actual Wegman okay. brand. She yeah. eats this all the time and usually likes it, don't you, Katie? You like so the yogurt. Mix it up a little bit. It looks like it has a consistency with uh, berry, blueberry chunks in it. So Mama. we're gonna try a little bit of that. Like Pass my it on. Yogurt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have purple yogurt. Here, honey. See if you like it. She used to do what that do for do me like when it? I was little. The yummy? Tastes like blueberries. Yeah. It tastes like blueberry yogurt, but to be honest, yeah. I don't think it's my favorite blueberry like yogurt. I don't like it. It tastes like mm -hmm. medicine. Medicine. Chalky. It's very chalky. I don't like the blueberry one. None of us like no the blueberry one. Sorry, Wegmans. Let's try. You know, though, it might taste okay in a smoothie. Yeah, it might be okay to cook with or something, but yeah, but to eat on its own, yeah. it's very chalky. Yeah. We're gonna go. We're gonna go for it, though. We're gonna go for the next one. Yeah, next we one is, is mango. Hopefully, this one tastes a little bit better. Mango. No. Okay, you gonna try that one here? Here's a little. This one might be good. Do you like it? Okay, here. You do here's like it. Katie likes the mango. You don't want any more? I don't want her to get She's sick. like, I don't know. You like that one? We're making a mess over here, look at this. We got pumpkin and mango, ugh. Mixing it all together. I didn't like that one either. I think that one tastes more like medicine than the other one. I don't like it. Yeah. So, no to the mango. It's like, there's no sweetener at all like it tastes yeah. like it. I think, I don't, I don't like it. It's not, it's like Oh, she likes it. Oh, she does. Yeah. You like that? Okay. It might taste better if it had more chunks of mango in it and it had a little bit of sweetener in it, but it's pretty. I did a yogurt review a few months back with my friend Cesar, and we tried like 27 different yogurts. So we'll tell you what yogurts are the best and which ones aren't. Oh, really? This one will probably be at the bottom of the I line so, so far. Sorry, Wegmans. Um, go back to the drawing board and come back. What flavor is that? This is vanilla. It's very soupy, but. I like vanilla. Here, yeah, try the vanilla, Sunny. 
Do you like that one? You do? You got a face that you don't like it, but you're saying yeah. Do you like it? She's like, yeah, I like it. <laughs> I like both of them. Oops. You do? I don't like that one. Oh, that one's awful. It is. It's not good. It tastes like ground up chalk. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> you're I would have to say. <laughs> I would have to say no to the Wegman yogurts. Mm -hmm. uh, they, it's just not there yet. Mm -hmm. And then the very last thing that we have is not for us we to don't try out. Try that. Right. But they have vegan dog treats. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin recipe. Do you want a dog treat? Um, I will admit <laughs> I did try a piece of this, and I guess I could survive off them. They're not they're not that good for you know human food, but Indy the pup loves them, so I oh, guess so. Indy get one. Indy. Indy come here. Come on, baby. One treat. Yeah. Mm, here it comes. <laughs> Come here, one treat. You want a treat? Mm. Come here. Come here, that's a treat. Alright, I would say that Indy gives us two paws up. Good, Indy. <laughs> Katie's going. Deep. Ingredients in this is just wheat flour, pumpkin, cane molasses, canola oil, ground cinnamon, citric acid, and, and uh, rosemary extract. So, uh, Indy gives it, like I said, two paws up. Um, the ice creams were good, the pumpkin spice. I think everything we tried were good except for the yogurt. If I, I had to, you know, and I had some to make fruit, the thumbs up the I would use that yeah. in, a, in a smoothie and add a little uh, agave or something. Well, in I'm going to leave them with you so you can do that tomorrow morning. Okay. And I'm going to leave you with all the ice cream, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just loves me. He bites in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? Bite in my hand. <laughs> Not hard though, no? No. He just did it slowly. <laughs> now there is one disclaimer I'd like to make before ending this video. So I bought these products about two weeks ago and after reading the ingredients, particularly the, uh, the popcorn, candy corn popcorn from Trader Joe's, I contacted them and asked them about the uh, the sugar, if it was refined through bone char or not. I did not hear back. And in the meantime, I saw several vegans posted on their pages, including some vegan news outlets and stuff like that. So I went ahead, we did the taste test, and yesterday I received this. Hello, Chris. Thank you for reaching out with your product inquiry. In response to the ingredient sugar contained in this product would indeed be processed refined using bone char as a standard. Bummer. But keep in mind that there's nothing in the actual product that's not vegan. It's the process of going from point A to point B, in this case the sugar. And personally I like to stay away from that stuff. I'd rather find something else or make my own version or just go without altogether. And I should probably do an entire video dedicated to my thoughts on the sugar refining process involving bone char because it can get quite lengthy and there is no black and white area. It's kind of a gray area, um, but we have come a long way over the years and I would really like to talk about it and give you guys my thoughts on the entire thing. So um, be on the lookout for that video. And until then, give me that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, survive, watch out for zombies. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Tell him to give us a thumbs up. Hey, thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> Keep doing it. <laughs>